<clears throat> Even if there's a man missing. And go. And they're off skis, off skis, off skis. Let it reek. <clears throat> so we've got 12 at the top. No, not 12 at the top. A bit more than 12. Oh, we've got three in the bottom. Three, uh, two MGs and an assault. And then we have 12 Legion X. Sorry, 15. Because 15 plus 3 equals 18. Um, then we have pretty similar. We've got an extra few bodies down in the south. I think they're going just for pure overload of the center. These are becoming a lot more aggressive in their play. And the style of play actually I think seems to suit them a little bit. Um, one stage the Legion X would have been seen to slow games right down. But now they seem to be a bit more proactive in taking the fight to people. As Legion X overload the center. Get some bodies into the middle. As Cillin goes down to Viking on the left. Spoke. Legion X lost a man in the middle there, but they have taken the point. South though, Ananasas. Goes down, Funk. Kaffee, in the mid. The man from the circle is in the circle. Legion X not really... Rocket at Flower Magnus. Not really going for much in the way of control here at the moment, they're just sort of overloading still in the center. And they start spreading out though and taking the south side. Um, Radve and Rodoran. Just chilling. As Turbo keeps firing that MG. Radve not able to get the angle to see them from the lower, or from the left hand side here. There's the Funk. Oh, Robo takes Radve, but gets taken out in retaliation by Via de Colis. Let's go back to Kaffee in the middle. Dead. Dark Leonis. Doing the Wigglies. Gets the Peakies. Doesn't see anybody just yet. Grenade. Close. Oh. Scrolly wheel away mad again. But did get uh, injured by that. Lovely little grenade. As the Polish man of absolute craft gets shot in the back. No. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, little Leonis. Who has Jord and Alexander either side. So let's go to the big picture here for on the LTU side. Um, numbers thinned out quite a bit. Legion X starting to get a bit of a spread on. Um, and Sanitator pushing up around the top of the map. In the north. As Dark Leonis still alive. Takes out Alien Pervert. All the Jinkui. His guard just taking a little random run. Well, I say random. He's running in the direction of the point, but out in the open. Gets taken down. Leonis now knows that George is close. George takes Leonis. But so far, Legion X in complete control of the strong point. Uh, slowly starting to spread their way out. What? LTU holding on here in this northern and mid section. South section seems to be completely pushed back with the exception of Rodoran and Ananasas. Trying to make some ground but Danny holding them off. Just down in this northern section. So we've got a bit stale here now at this stage. Rocket. Comet Danny, but I just want to go down here. 
Now, man, Rodron has gone down, though. I do want to see if... Oh, yes. OP is there. Robo just going through the trench as Ananananasas makes their way. Just, ah, there we go. Now, takes a little peek over the left shoulder. Sees our advert. Takes and does the pew pew. He's out in the open, though. Just stepping about. Rocket. Oh! Robo. <laughs> Bug with the big rocket. And I believe that is, oh, that would be enough to make Jesus dribble a little bit. Oh, Robo, that was good. If I hadn't known that was going to happen, I would have had the <laughs> camera the other side, but... Oh, dear. So. But again, though, nobody... This is, this is what I don't understand, is, is, the, is Chinese writing, and, like, Robo's bound to obviously spotted, like, you know, hey, guys, OP's down. They're not actually pushing the south back at all. Like, even just to put a couple of people along this little hedgerow. Create a, a you know, sort of a bit of a, a bit of a barrier. Something to hold them back. But. I'm just a dumb caster. Well, do you. In the circle. Starting to get around in the north a little bit. A rocket from Cillin. A little bit reckless with the rockets. Good evening, Decibel. As rockets start flying back unst forth. This is great play, though. Both teams sort of holding nice little, neat, tidy little lines. Not to be confused with the other lines that you can get. The Yogurt goes down. Crafty. Shot. Dead. Yes, the line is holding. Well, the thing is, was you could sit here for 22 minutes and 20 seconds. And the match will be over in the end. Up, Somebody needs to start doing pushy wishies, piggly wigglies as Blue Celtic. Nook in round the back. Doesn't look over his left shoulder though. Now he looks. Sees. Roarder in. Shoots him. Now OP sitting there. Blue Celtic, you can see it. I think, right? Mm. Oh, but no, he didn't. Mm. Like, I think that's about head height. Hello? <laughs> Little OP. But Blue Celtic. Just a way on. Doing the bushies. Let's take a look at Blue Celtic's bush. Blue Celtic shot. By a Rodoran in the back area. No, he's not in the back area. Rodoran's in his own front area. There's Funk. The OP's not been marked up though. I don't I, I don't think Blue Celtic spotted it. Radvis shooting a pike? No, sorry, Robobug. Grenades. Broadering in. His OP will be hot. Huge roaring. Like, he just needs to run up the hedgerow. That's all he needs to do, run up the hedgerow, and that is the OP gone. They seem to have abandoned the, the OP, right? Nobody's respawned in it, so let's just take a look here in the north. Oh, however, though, things are starting to shape up. A rocket from a night deal. 
Haven't seen Night Deal in a while, I don't think. Or I seen him last night and just didn't realise. Um Jackie though with that MG singing away. I believe we may have lost the OP down here. Yeah. OP's gone. This blue Celtic is taken out. Funk sees it. We're ordering down. So no OP again in the south. That's twice now that's been reset from what I what we've cal we've calculated. Going back to the north. North squad holding strong. As one man gets taken down. Yeah, just standing on the the fence, not really uh, moving anywhere. Viking moves in close. One goes down. Edric pushing hard though. Takes a weight spoke. Insanitator in the membrane. It's not how the song went, no. Um, and there's Edric with a kill. But. Flower. With a dose kills. And a misclick. <laughs> So, North Squad push back from LTU. Leads an X regaining the ground. South Squad pushed all the way out. A couple of lone individuals in the middle there. We've got Gump and we've got uh, Hunter LT. And just sort of stuck in at the hedge line. A lot of this straight across the open ground going on. I know that a lot of places are mostly all open ground, but there's Gald in bush. Not in bush. He's dead. Got to see a Viking in the small building. Norvald. Danny going to come up against a 4 3 v 2. As I left, he's just doing a bit of a bit of a preemptive firing. Danny with all the chitty chance. Oh. Takes one. And let's just go back across the mid here as we see. Legion X again just still holding their line. LTU also holding their line. A little bit of back and forth in the north section. South squad's a bit of a, a bit of a rough one at the moment. A robo with more rocket. Blue Celtics down, but Sullen went over him. That should be called out, I believe, to Robo. Throwing smoke? No, just regular grenades. Dead. Gave away the position quite badly there. Let's just zoom out again. I just want to go back up. Nope, there's the turbo front bum wind. Turbo queef. I've got queef in your face. Radve. Talismanas. Both making... A little bit of ground. Are they going to be able to take out the bug of robotness? As the grenade. Yeah. Didn't get anybody, but lovely grenades. Ike takes talismanas. And there's turbo falling back. A little bit, little bit slow on the uptake there, but falling back nonetheless. And um, there's Pike. Oh, Jackie. With the MG. 
Almost got taken out by Sillen. Just a braced MG and rocket again. <clears throat> Very close to the friendly. I'll do you getting dangerously close to the circle. Jackie with the raced MG again. Roadering though. Let's just go to Roadering camp. Does the picky Oh. A pew pew dad. Rocket from Robo. Vadovokalis. I don't know who uh, LT actually have this weekend in the 18s tournament. I know that Legion X have a broken arrow. That is going to be all the spiciness. Lots and lots of spice. Any chance? Oh! Wow, we're getting taken out by Sillin and Kaffi and we're starting to get cap. Wait, rocket! A, a waste spoke. Yep, yeah, but here it comes. Southside has fallen. Again, leads an X punished for not taking the opportunity as Jord takes out Sillin. And a quick look at the OPs. One, two, and three. Yeah, all three OPs are still up at the moment. And an Anasas. In the middle. Yes, that is correct. Well spotted. Jord. Recently sponsored by Specsavers. Able to see. As rockets go flying in a desperate attempt from Legion X just to try and stave off this attack from LTU. Yes. So far though, they've held off well. Flower and Kaffee both go down. However though, North again. LTU starting to make a bit of ground there as well. They've just abandoned this mid completely. They've ran two squads south. They realise that that is their current opening. So we're just going to apologise to the North squad, but we're away. And LTU doing a lot of thinning out of the Legion X. Wait. Doing a bit of bush firing. Flyer coming along. He's going to see. Wait. A rockets flying everywhere. The weight is finally down and blown up. And Ananasaz. So it's tough for the Allies to get any sort of decent OPs close by. Anything to put along this hedgerow can just be wiped out by somebody running along the opposite side of it. That's crafty. Peeks out, looks south, Ananasaz and Crafty. Yeah, finally deal with each other. 
And a rocket from Robobug and from Nightdale. Nightdale almost <laughs> takes out Crafty. Let's take a little look back up to the north. It is currently still ongoing. I was a Viking and Edric are right in behind. Rocket from APL. <laughs> oh, absolutely obliterates. But that is two in the north down completely. So that's the complete northern squad wiped out. Or LTU. Nobody else there. As Yam Badhe, alien pervert. Encroached on Caffey and Caffey fucked him up. Yes. Legion X starting to make some remunerations in the south. On down. Crafty takes one. He gets taken by Sillen and Anasaz. And Anasaz goes down to flee. And Radve also down. Rordoran still alive. Goes Viaduculus. Pike, you. Oh no, maybe you can't see that. Ah, I'll let that one slide. But now LTU are being. Pushed into this trench, into this corner, they're sort of being left with very little way of options as Anasaz takes down Pike. But they've made another opening, they just need to get bodies going through that opening. As a Robo, yeah, here he comes. Is he going to put a rocket in? Throws grenades. Oh, one man down to the grenade. As Edric burns another OP in the south. Smek down, Edric also down, so Insanitator still alive, can possibly get another OP up, but Leeds next, pushed right up now, they've managed to cover this bit of ground. Made their way to the hedge line where you see Crafty and Flower Magnus. And see Viking and Nightdale fill in the gap. As the South Squad just deals with what's coming to them now. In the form of Alexander going down by Sillen. Sillen down. That's the only thing now about these sort of large gaps in your line. If you start to get in circle, just it's chances are when you kill somebody, you're going to get killed straight away because you, know, you got Flower one side, you got Funk, then Jord. You, you three angles to be shot from, and you just can't cover them all. However, though, Insanitators... No, Insanitator has been reset. Rordoran. Seems to be holding the best in this south section. They've managed to gain this bit of ground and hold it. As Turbo Queef up in the house at the back. You just see it sort of off center to the right top. Six minutes remaining. As a Rodoran finally gets taken down. However, though, I believe we do still have a OP. As Blue Celtic starts to make his way. Ananasas. Doing the pew pews. Trying to take Funk. Doesn't take Funk, though. Alright, so. Oh, there we go. There we go. Great work from an assass. Defended the OP. Throws a grenade. Ike running. Yep. <laughs> well spotted. Well ran. Oh. Ooh. Careful. Careful. Yeah, Boko, yeah. 
as ooh, Pike almost takes it again. And we're gonna see it. Starting to get cap weight though. Pike takes two. As you see, Blue Celtic, yeah, Blue Celtic's now, we've got, ooh, Randway with a great, great takedown of Blue Celtic. And they're slowly making their way. Robo, finally with the rockets. So the mid got pushed back. They just took a little bit too much ground. <clears throat> when the south wasn't completely under control. And a rocket from Talismanus. Robo with a rocket. And this is off an already down player. So just under four minutes remaining. Oh, that'll make the piss come out of you very handy. <laughs> Robo bandaging. And Funk does a double takedown. Op still survived. Like it's it's unbelievable. Great work from the South Squad because they've just held on so well. They've had the toughest run because they've been back and forth and back and forth and now they're back up front again. As they're trying to take the fight to Legion X in the south section. And they've managed to actually repel the north as well. Um, which, is, which is great because they were in a prime position to be boxed out just a few moments ago. Legion X just weren't able to capitalise on it entirely. Oh! But capitalize on that as Nightdale with a fantastic rocket. Here goes the bug. Oh. As Anna says, grenade. Oh, close, close. Boom, boom. Let me hear say way out. So, Robo Bug is Robo Bug gonna take Talisman? No, Talisman manages to take out Bug. So we've uh, we've ignored the north for, for quite some time now. So let's just move across here. As an oh, and sanitator has moved, goes down. Caster's curse is, is alive and well. There we go, can't be. Yeah, takes an OP. If we can take Danny, this would be big for them. Oh, didn't clear out the building, and that's what happens. Oh, Caffey could have been the man of the hour or the half hour, and um, with forty seconds remaining, though, it's going to be a tall order. I believe we may have. Yeah, we've reset this outposty. In the south. And Sanitator managed to make it all the way up though. And 15 seconds. Great work from Danny though. Look at that. He's went all the way back there. Because obviously his guys aren't 
able to be able to help. And five, four, three, two, one. That is le G G. So. Go. And we're about seven different languages there just for just for the countdown. So leads next off to the starties. LTU. Also off to the starties, but that is a rocket. Oh, almost. There was one gone the other way. Oh, last couple fell a bit short. LTU's first rocket though. I didn't see if it got anybody. Doesn't appear to have. Everyone seems to be sort of... Rocket. A little bit too overzealous. And there we go. Hold the line. Both squads going for... Or both teams are going for the... Sort of the hold the line approach. Leonis and left or er, Edric both gone down. As we're just holding the line, Talisman is trying to make a bit of ground across. Rocket from Nightdale. Oh shit, we're way into the ground. As Smack just lying in the body of his colleague. Takes down Flower Magnus, great work from Smack. So neither team's able to make any sort of real ground. So we go back here to the Oh, Thomas Manus did make quite a bit of ground. See, oh, Turbo Queef got taken down there. So, wow, what a shot by Rorderin, I believe that was. From all the way across the field. But LTU starting to get the cap weight, though. Been contested for a little while. They've come across the field, and oh, the rocket from somebody. Robobug. Another one coming. Oh, but it doesn't get anybody. And we see now some bodies starting to be thinned out in the mid. <clears throat> there we go, there's that slight stutters of, of, of uh, San Marie de Mont. Let me just quickly, uh, just try and lower some stuff real sh Oh, jeez, that's low. It's medium low. Fucking hell. If I go any lower, it'll look like dog shit on a PC. I think it is literally just down to this particular map at the moment that's causing these... Because it was the exact same yesterday. Perfectly fine during the first match. And we went on to Samory de Mont. We had the same issues. We're leading next starting to get the cap weight. I'm just like to congratulate Team 17. I'm doing a fantastic job of fucking the whole thing up. 17 monkeys struggling to masturbate. That's correct. As Jord makes his way across. And then <laughs> we weren't even moving there, and that just started fucking spazzing out.
Just try and go to the bigger picture here. We'll just hold it so you can see as much as possible. Legionix really taking the liking to the uh, to the Rue de la Gare point. This was a, one of the first ever points really started off for Legionix in a competitive setting. It didn't go well for them. I must admit it was a it was my first refereeing experience in competitive. And Crafty takes the OP and takes both the. Uh, Uh, took both the squad leader and the other gentleman and then got blown up. <laughs> Beautiful joyous. So there we are, we've had over five minutes of contesting the point back and forth. next we've now got the point completely held however though with this being a non-neutral point neither team loses their OPs um you know the access sorry don't lose their OP if the point is completely held by the allies which is something that's going to come in very handy here for them even though Insanitator did get reset just before by crafty polish man who's just right there doing the runnies crafty has the runs As Leon Pervert makes his way across the road, Rocket from Sillen. So we'll try not to move around here too much. It doesn't matter, I suppose, if we just stay still. I mean, it still fucking shits itself, and I do apologize. Nothing rags me more than it just not fucking working correctly. Like there. <laughs> It seems to almost happen at sort of set intervals, you know. It's almost like you can time it. Garned a bit of an overzealous shot there, but both, both go down, both APL and the other gentleman. He's next in control of this western side now. Schneck. Doesn't realise he's on the wrong team. <laughs> I think Schneck's actually just in help, and just, with a, just to give them some numbers. Um... I think give him some numbers, give him at number. Yes, good man, Snake, for jumping in.
Let's just take a look here now at this eastern side. You can see the push right up here in the mid west or eastern side's holding back quite a bit. We've got Norvald with the west squad. He's just away on a little. Let's go to Norvald. Can get down nice and close? A bit of peeking and a little bit of sneaking as Dark Leones. What's up, OP? Get shot. Norval, if Norval just moves it, yeah, if we run the, the right direction, nah, he would have got that OP. But he's now down. Well, to you trying to get the ground back again. Schneck is just stopping anybody coming through this little hedge. Starting to make a bit of ground here in the west again. And a little flicker of contesting there. Again, all down to soft cap weight as well because they've got nobody at the strong point. Um. For LTU. The battle for the west is on again. Oh, and a big rocket from guard. The man's to make some ground back up in the far east. Let's just stutter our way over there. Now, Ananasaz, Radve, and Talismans. Just holding Leeds next back on this side. Robobug is going to make some progress across here, though. Doing the pew pews. As Aradve moves across. Oh, and a great shot from Radve. Takes out Robo. But also gets taken down.
Got another rocket from Rubelberg. Hendrik takes down Gomp, but gets taken down by Guard. Aren't you starting to make some ground here in the middle? You're getting a good bit of camp weight going here, though. Next start, look at the good, good defense on here. Just overloading a lot of people back in towards the mid and fanning out Norvold, holding this western side here along with APL. The lefty and APL go at each other. A great effort from LTU managed to get back up to the sort of the bottom edge of the strong point along the east to west line. A lot of rockets flying everywhere. Drumley's next. particular point just seem to be favouring LTU a little bit better than the prior. But again, a great strong effort from them in the previous match where they were able to gain ground with the illusion it and then gain it again. A lot of, a lot of back and forth, a lot of toing and froing. The middle has been sort of quashed again. And quite a spread now from the mid squad. Filtering across towards the. a bit more in favour actually towards the west. Sort of the only channel that anyone can really get down now at this stage. Crafty. Gone on a mad run. Oh! <laughs> oh, Gump. 
<laughs> Can't be we're just a bit too slow with the with the shovel, my man. Somebody stole your kill. Oh dear. Poor crafty. Poor crafty. And I just see Flower also going he's gonna try and Didn't see the MG? Flower? Oh, flower dead. We move back to the East squad. Again, holding very well. We'll pick little spots. Bunk. Dead. Now again, more cap weight contest or er, uh, for LTU. Have we lost a squad in the mid? No. There they are. Well, the squad has been wiped out, but uh, they haven't lost the rope, so they're able just to get straight back in and start defending. And that's thing it's key not to start panicking and shitting yourself too much. This AP takes one little yam batty, whatever that means. Apparently, it's some sort of Dutch cuisine. Hunter down. AP finally taken out and now as you see flipped again LTU you're back up to this line let's go to witch camp APL still in that little bush just killing people He's well within the bounds But he's just enjoying his time in that little bush. We have double MGs firing. Takes flower. Just holding the road. Dark Leona's is here. Let's go to Dark Leona's camp. Does the peekings and the pookings? Peeking and pooking. Here comes Gump. There goes Gump. Danny just firing into the open from the hedgerow. This Viking goes down. As I lefty takes out APL, I believe. Now Edric coming to fill the gap. His wit just being a bit a bit cautious here. Rocket from APL. 
I will go back to the mid. Dog Leonas with a grenades over. Oh! <laughs> I believe that might have been George got taken out there. And there goes Crafty as well. Crafty, second time that he's been caught down to a grenade. Been testing the strong point. As one bandages the other. True love. Delta you are st they're still taking the cap weight. Should be oh yeah, there we go now. Crafty and Nightdale back in. Puts an end to it. They're just not able to get that a little bit of extra momentum they need to try and you know just completely take out the the mid there's the funk and the pike Need to now just try and take control of this southern side of the strong point with two and a half minutes remaining. Let's go down to Strong point where all the actions happening. Dark Leona's is dead. There's guard with a bit of pre-firing. Oh, and Jord takes him out though. And Blue Celtic also down at the. F bottom side of the soft point sorry hard point and yeah LT is just not able to get that little bit of extra push that they just desperately need at the moment and again with a minute and 13 remaining Unless LTU can really pull something out of the bag here now. I don't see them actually taking this point. Oh, <laughs> alien pervert for a way for a little flight there. Yeah.